Merry Christmas, guys. Reggie, this is your present. Kenny, this is your present. Charles, this is your present. And Ernie, the rest are for you. Merry Christmas, guys. See you soon. Ah, uh, big fella, we oh, miss you, and we good. we uh, send over there. we send you our got best. A lot of kids. You think as, you think uh, it was, yeah. they got a lot of kids? There was just one for each kid. Just one for each kid. Oh, you oh my God. God, that's so not right, hey, Chuck. Right. Chuck. Hey, my man got a lot of kids. <laughs> and one of them, Sharif. Sharif, we well, send get you well, get send well, you our best. Yes. And, go uh, Bruins. Yeah. Go Bruins. <laughs> <laughs> this is the uh, American Express halftime report, I by the like way. Steve Alfred, sorry. In a 58-53 Houston lead over Miami and the American Express teammates, James Harden and Eric Gordon and Chris Paul, you see in the bottom line, they haven't lost since those three have been in the starting lineup together. And um, Chris Paul leaves with a hamstring injury mm. in the first half, and it happened right here. Now, look, Rocket fans have seen this movie before. This is why you it was the right hamstring last year during the playoffs. You, mm. you, this is what you always worry about with the Rockets and with Chris Paul. It's always, they're always an injury away. You know, they playing well. They have, like you said, catapulted themselves back into the playoff picture. I believe they're number seven. But they're one injury away from going down to 14 or 15. But, but if you look at the team, uh, one of the reasons uh, I'm not high on the Rockets Chris Paul and James Harden have to do more than any players in the NBA. Uh, LeBron's great. He got some help, a little help. Uh, the Warriors got a lot of help, the, 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 the Nuggets. But James Harden personally has to do more than any player in the NBA, and Chris Paul probably second. Harden 20 points in the first half to lead the Rockets, who set an NBA record from three-point land last night with 26, Reggie. Plus 21 advantage tonight versus the Heat, and that's always been the great equalizer. Uh, their president and general manager, Daryl Morway, this is what he talks about. We want threes, layups, or getting fouled and going to the free throw line. And we see the step back three uh, by James Harden, but 26 threes, an NBA record last night. And if we remember, Less than a year ago in the conference finals versus Golden State, <laughs> they missed 27 in a row. So we know that they can do this. They can shoot threes. Corner threes are their favorite. P.J. Tucker is having a great year in shooting corner threes. But to me, this team can go and continue this if Eric Gordon is playing like he's playing tonight. Wow. He has shot the ball terrible this year. 40% uh, from the field, only 29% from three-point range. He's got to be more consistent on a regular basis. Yeah, they're, they're, the Rockets, what they did last year is change the face of the NBA yeah. in that terms. Even, you know, I, as much as Golden State, State you know, would, you would say, well, you can't do that because you have so many great shooters. You probably have three of the five best shooters in basketball on one team with Golden State. So you say, well, we can't emulate that. But when the Rockets, basically, James Harden being the only great shooter on that team, great. Mm -hmm. They had some good shooters that we could play this way was um, and, and be successful and get to the Western Conference Finals. It changed the face in the NBA. But can you do that? And then this year, kind of you kind of come back to earth. And then now you have to build yourself back up. And, and as Charles alluded to and said, I'm not sure if one guy for multiple years could average 35, 37, 38 points a game the way he's ha handling it, because, you know, the way he's doing it. Because even Michael Jordan, I would say per, per possession, the ball wasn't in his hand that long. Yes. And so here's a guy who has the basketball at a 24-second shot clock, oh, yeah. Charles, for 16 seconds. Yeah. And that's a lot to ask and you can, for. And I don't think you can do that for 82 game and in the playoffs. As great as James is, that's just too much to ask for one player. Five-point game at the half, 58-53. Miami has not led in this game. They were down by 16. Bench got them back in it. And Chris Paul, by the way, will not return for Houston in this one. Get well, Chris.